Hello girls and guys! Today I've decided to show you guys a new spread in one of my sketchbooks. This time I've recorded only the portrait sketchbook, but anyways, um, I'm going to use gouache. I'm not a huge fan of it and I'm still learning, but hey, this is a good reason why I decided to record it, just to show you guys the struggles that I have. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just going to open this page and I'm going to work on one page with the gouache and on one page only pen and pencil because that's what I do most in my sketchbook and well I've just taped a few pages together just to keep the page straight and not to have so much warping and then I'll just go straight to sketching I'm using one picture of a doll on Pinterest as inspiration and as you can see the lines are quite loose and quite fast. I don't know. Um, this took me about five minutes and then uh, in the beginning I tend to paint sad eyes. Well the doll was not very happy either. <laughs> Anyways, um, so here you pretty much see that I'm used to painting wash just like I do watercolor. I have it very thinned out and I like to working layers. One thing that I do like about it is that gouache dissolves very very fast. I mean if you just apply a little bit of water it's going to just want to blend in and spread. So that's something that I've done. So this is quite a quick sketch. Not as quick as you guys see it here. Uh, it took me in total, both, both pages took me about an hour and uh, well I think that's quite a good amount of time for sketching especially because um, I did leave some time to dry the layers as you can see it's a rough sketch and I'm not too careful just because it's a sketchbook <laughs> so uh, subject of today is just some uh, sad looking doll just because I thought she was really pretty and I felt inspired by it. One thing I did realize quite soon was that as I was painting I was making her face the proportions of her face bigger than they were actually in the photo and then I've also realized that my mouth was out of place so later on I end up resolving that by just going over the lips and moving them a little bit. Well that's what a sketchbook is for just to play around and realize the mistakes that I have and how and finding problems on how to solve them. Uh, this sketchbook, uh, this sketch is almost finished. As you can see, I just give it a little bit of white touches here and there, just to think where light might hit the face. And that was pretty much it. On the other page, I'm just working with pencil and pen. Um, I'm using the pencil to just do the shading more or less and the rough first sketch. And then with the pencil, I'm just uh, drawing in details and the darkest values. Um, I'm working mainly on learning value. As you can see, it's quite rough and it's just whatever I feel. Uh, another thing that I've realized that helps me a lot is instead of uh, drawing the eyes in kind of square shapes what I tend to do is just draw two circles where the skeleton, skeleton holes would be and I just fill those in I find that's quite easier and more fun and well that's quite fast I like to spend about two to three minutes on every face whenever it's just pencil and pen because they're mo mainly rough sketches learning values and just getting my hands loose before I go on to painting more serious paintings right now I'm only working on a portrait and on some perfume paintings uh, they're just also learning how to paint with acrylics and oils because I struggle with those but anyway that's what this is for so this was pretty much the spread that I had as you can see the paper did not warp as much as the, it would do if it would be loose 
so that's where, where I normally just use some sticky tape, some cellar tape to keep it in place and it dried out quite fast um, I hope you guys like this video and please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and I hope this uh, gets to you as inspiration so you can go on and fill in your sketchbook with doodly faces too <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!